Hello, everybody. Wolf Fang here. It is Sunday, October the 22nd. It's actually uh, nice and sunny out today. It's only like maybe 53. That's all right, though. So I enjoyed uh, last night's uh, live. That was fun. I um, need to come up with some topics, so. But it's all good. And I'm glad everybody stopped in and said hi. So, uh, looking through articles this morning, as I always do, I came across the Hamas terrorist that uh, did their attack on Israel. So, let's get, let me read this to you. I found this interesting. So, it says, that uh, Hamas gunmen were high on drugs during terrorist attacks on Israel. And <clears throat> you'll have to work with me a little bit because I cannot pronounce the name of these drugs. But anyway, it says Hamas terrorists were reported, reportedly high on a stimulant dubbed the poor man's cocaine during their attacks on Israel earlier this month. Capagon, I guess it's called Capagon pills. It's a synthetic amphetamine type stimulant were found in the pockets of the Hamas gunmen killed or captured by Israel forces during the October 7 cross-border raid. Israel's Channel 12 reported. The news channel said that the terrorists had taken the drug before committing their inhumane murders. More than 1,400 Israels were killed during the attack. Other recent reports have also suggested that Hamas terrorists may have been acting under the influence of drugs. A witness to the group's rampage described the gunman as having crazy joy in their eyes, like they were high on something. While they were rampaging from house to house, killing people and taking hostages, according to the New Yorker magazine. Capagun was the brand name of a stimulant first produced in Germany in the 1960s to help treat attention deficit disorder, narcolepsy, and other conditions. It was later discontinued, but an illicit version of the drug continued to be produced in Eastern Europe and later in the Arab world, becoming prominent in the Syri uh, Syrian civil war that erupted in the wake of the anti-government protest in 2011. Now, I do know back in the day, I think it was like uh, WW2, uh, some soldiers actually took speed. And it's in Vietnam, they, they were smoking weed and doing heroin and shit. So it's, it's not uncommon for soldiers to take drugs. It was reportedly used widely in the Islamic State group, whose fighters were thought to consume capitan to stay awake on the conflict's front lines. The illicit version, also nicknamed the drug of jihad, or poor man's cocaine, is thought to be made of a mix of fentanyl, caffeine, and other fillers. It generates focus and staves off sleep and hunger. It is currently mostly produced in Syria, where trade in the... <coughs> And the drug is a financial lifeline for the Assad regime, generating billions of pounds a year, according to a foreign commonwealth and development office. The Syrian regime's <coughs> trafficking of billions of dollars worth of capital has helped to spread violence across the region. The Hamas terrorists reported Use of the drug only adds to the carnage, said David at Adskin, a senior fellow and the director of research at the Foundation for the Defense of Democracy 
a Washington-based research institute. Footage of Hamas attack earlier this month shows a vehicle used by the terrorist group with a large bag of white powder on one side of its seat uh, alongside instructions for the assault. Code name Operation All Aqua Flood? I don't know. The Telegraph was unable to verify the nature of the powder that appeared in the footage. In recent years, Capitan has become popular in the Hamas-controlled Gaza, according to Channel 12. The news channel reported that tens of thousands of Palestinians are addicted to the drug, with dependency rates particularly high among unemployed youth. So, those guys were all tweaked out on um, whatever, when they went in, that's crazy. But I thought I would share that. And like I said, it's not, not drugs have been around for a long time. Uh, and I said, it, the, the speed was used uh, during the Second War. It was, hell, it probably goes all the way back. Um, but I wanted to share this story. Like I said, I, I saw this this morning. So, there you go. They take some drugs, get crazy in the eyes, and go rampage. Anyway, this is Wolf Fang. I hope everybody has a great Sunday. Relax. Chill out. Don't stress out. Blessed be. Stay safe. And I'll chat with you all later.